Hey everyone! My name is Dara, so I'm Judy. Hello. Welcome, oh my god, to our reaction channel. And today we're continuing with our Game of Thrones reaction. Oh, we're on season 4, episode 5. First of the name. <laughs> Before we start our reactions, like usual, go to the full length reactions, or the bone of pose, or any of that other good stuff. You can go check all that out on my Patreon link too in the description box and in the comment section down below. Okay. Uh, where do we leave off? Well, uh, we have to look at your notes. I don't we know. found out who killed Joffrey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who was it? Grandma and Littlefinger. <laughs> Grandma, <laughs> Grandma and Littlefinger, yes. You know, you know, so I don't remember people's names. I just refer to them. <laughs> yes. But you remember Littlefinger. Oh, well, yeah, well, I remember him now. You can never remember Varys' name. She can never. Varys, I remember. I don't even kind of... think you can remember Tyrion's name. I sometimes. always, I always, well, I know. He's one of our main characters. And you're like, um, him. The one who just got accused of killing Joffrey. Him. <laughs> him. Um, yeah, so Grandma Littlefinger, Lena. Grandma and Littlefinger. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, we saw how White Walkers are made. Oh, the they babies. Have poor babies. All cra I know, I never really thought about how it is all like Craster's sons, which is kind of. Well, sure I wonder if they know each other, like recognize yeah. each other. Like, hey, bro, what's up, man? <laughs> I and know they and don't, yeah, like, they don't talk. Like, and, like, we were, and like we were saying, like, how do they. they obviously, they have to mature. They or, they, have, or they have a whole cave full of babies that they just haven't shown us. Go okay, cave of White Walker babies. <laughs> but like you would think, yeah, do they become toddlers? Do they walk? Do they take their first steps? <laughs> As a little White Walker baby. You know, like, do they or do they just bolt? Do they just magically, do they just magically transform become into, into adults? Yeah. You know, I don't know. Huh. I'll be honest, that is the truth. I really don't know that. Interesting. That might be a spoiler. I don't think that is because I want to go out truth. I really don't know. Yeah, nice. So, I yep. don't know. What do you guys think? I don't recall the books ever talking about that because the books... That's the thing. Game of Thrones, they added the show added that in. The books never had that like, big oh, reveal. Uh huh. So I don't know. Do you guys know? Because I have no idea. So let it's me know mystery. in the comments if you know if the White Walker babies if they grow up or if they just magically turn into adults. Okay. Um. <laughs> and then oh yeah, Jamie and Brienne had that cute moment. Yeah. Oath Keeper. It's like one of the best moments. And she's ever. off to find Sansa. Pod. <laughs> Good Pod. old Podrick Payne. Um, oh yeah, Marjorie seduced Little Tommen. Aww. Um. Well, creepy, but aww. Yeah. Danny's like, I'm queen of Marine now. I'm She's dead. really getting funny full of justice. herself. Justice? No, funny injustice with justice. She's really getting full of herself, I'm not gonna lie. Danny gets, <laughs> do, do, you, do you like that or not like that? No, I like her. I'm all for it. I'm just kind of just chuckling, You're like, you know? just be careful. Right. Like, you need to be careful. Exactly, yeah. Like I said, I love I Danny, she's get, but... Like, I hope the power just doesn't go to her head and then just, you know... Yeah, that's the thing with Danny. She come gets back so hot-headed. Mm -hmm. That's the dragon in her. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh. She just, she's just like, I'm going to fight justice. Justice. Like, I'm doing my thing. I do what I want to do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Which some people get irritated with Danny for. I kind of love it because it just it makes me laugh for some reason. I just find it, find it amusing how... Because she's so petite. She's so and she's tiny. Just like... And she's like this badass. Mm. Like walking in from her army, being like, mm, "Do my thing," and it's kind of funny. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, John. He's he's going. Um. Oh shoot, Bran. He got caught. Oh yeah, yeah. By the, the mutineers. Yeah. Um. And Carl Tanner, who was drinking out of the skull of poor Jorah. Yeah, yeah. John's on his way there. Yeah, and you're hoping for um. Reunion. A reunion, but, but you, know, you know they like to kill people, so I'm guessing. Here's my guess. Okay. Oh, that was yes. They're gonna. Kill Bran and the other two in Hodor, and then John's gonna show up after they're already oh, dead. Is he gonna find their bodies? Or something, I don't know. I oh. think it's that far ahead in my guess. Mm. We like killing people on the show, so. Especially when they're getting close to reunions. Well, exactly. <laughs> like with Arya. That's my guess. Cat. Oh, and do you think. Or John, something could happen to think... John, but. Oh, yeah, you think John could die? He could. Wow. Like when he goes to. Fight off the, oh, so yeah, or he shows up and they kill John and then they just keep Bran. I don't know. Ooh. I'm just totally guessing. I have no clue. And do you think Sans and Arya are going to meet? Because they're both heading towards the veil, the eerie. But, um, I would love for that, is. but yeah, I doubt it. Mm-hmm. 
Well, or maybe, or maybe this is the season for reunions. Maybe, maybe. people, maybe they'll actually finally maybe. reunite people. Because something good has to happen on the show, folks. <laughs> Come on, it can't yeah. all be gloom and doom. Yeah, I know. Other That's than true. Danny free and slaves. That's a good part. Yeah. Other than the rest of it, it's all doom and gloom so far. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. Danny is the only hopeful one. Yeah, because she's free and slaves, which is a good thing. Yeah. Great thing. Um. Anyway, yeah, that's, yeah. A good, that's a good point. I think about that. Yeah, and I know, and like, well, I mean, but Jamie and Brand, they had a cute moment. That was happy. But, yeah. but Jamie's acting like an idiot with Cersei. I know. Well, which I hate. I know. Who likes that? No one likes that. I know. I like to when he's with Brand. <laughs> I know he's best when he's with Brand. He sucks when he's with Cersei. <laughs> I mean, that's not just her fault. That's partly Jamie's fault. Oh, yeah. And, you know, well, because it's, it's, it's that comfort. Exactly. It's easy to fall it's back fall into back. the easy routines of your comfort zone. It's so easy to go back into your exactly. comforts. Trust and me. It's yeah. like, Jamie, dude. We all do that. It's just easy to fall back into old bad habits. That's human nature. Are you ready? Yep. Let's get into this. Whoa. Okay. Marjorie's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> he's so, he's so crushing on her. Cersei's not gonna like that. Mm. Pycelle, Jesus. Just him walking irritates me. <laughs> well, because he's pretending. I know, because he's so annoying, though. <laughs> 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 Margie, look away. <laughs> uh, we're gonna come have a chat with you, my yeah. dear. <laughs> I knew exactly what you were. <laughs> I did too. You never love anything in the world the way you love your first child. Is that true? <laughs> yes. We may be faced with an alarming number of weddings soon. <laughs> I won't even know what to call hmm. you. Sister. <laughs> or mother. <laughs> so she's like, what did I say about strangling you? <laughs> you <laughs> remember that? I will not let those I have freed slide back into chains. You go, girl. Mm -hmm. I will not sail for Westeros. What then? I will do what Going back. I will rule. Well, there we go. Hmm. She's like, well, she's gonna stay and I think try to make, figure out how to fix the mess. <laughs> and she can grow and learn. Be a better queen. That's true. I was gonna say, I hope her little son isn't still breastfeeding. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're gonna get a re-meet crazy cat sister. I don't remember her since season one. Huh? So we haven't seen her since season one. Oh God. Well, he's not breastfeeding, look. <laughs> well, yeah, well, in this moment, but we must have just got done. <laughs> we had a wedding night many years ago. Hit, hit, wink, wink. Don't you remember? <laughs> like it was yesterday. What wife would do for you the things I've done for you? What wife would trust you the way I've trusted you? You gave me those drops. You told me to pour them into John's wine. My husband's wine. And you told me to write a letter to Kat, telling her it was a Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not in just her little secret thing she's revealing. Yeah. Tonight it is then. I don't think Luffy really wants to get married to her. I know. <laughs> like, he's like trying to put it off. Let me bathe and dress for the occasion. He's like a crap. I'm going to scream when my husband makes love to me. I'm going to scream so loud. Will hear me clear <laughs> he across the Oh my seat. god. He's like a oh, crap. <laughs> he just wants power. <laughs> and there she goes. Right? <laughs> oh, poor Santa. <laughs> Like, cause it can be this way every night. I know. <laughs> the Red Woman. Beric Dondarrion. The Red Man. <laughs> like, oh Her list God. is so long. I know. The Mountain. 
Would you shut up? <laughs> I can't sleep until I say the names. The names of every fucking person <laughs> in this place. <laughs> Only the ones I'm going to kill. <laughs> Go on, get it over with. The list of doomed men. <laughs> I'm almost done. Only one name left. Go on. Is it here? <laughs> The hound. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, what the? <laughs> I'm a virgin, I swear it. He loves your Aunt Liza. Poor oh, Sansa. I I'm know. Stupid. I'm a stupid little girl with stupid dreams who never learns. And I'm a terrible liar, so I should always tell the truth. And I swear to you that he's never touched me, not once, not ever. I know, it's like, girl, I thought she was finally safe. I her crazy. I know, so she has to like... Always be saying all these things like I'm stupid. I know. Yeah. You know? War for murdering the king, and you'll be free to marry Robin. Oh God. <laughs> be the lady of the god crap. Sansa's like, you know, I'm thinking I don't really want to marry anybody at this My point. My cousin? Wait. <laughs> She's know. like, what? Wait. <laughs> well, especially him. Especially Robin. Wouldn't it be such a big deal if he was like, like for her age and attractive <laughs> or something? Would be as bad. <laughs> oh, Brian. Fine. Oh, dude. Didn't they teach you how to ride a horse? Yes, my lady, when I was young. Syria didn't have a sword. Or am I just a stick? The greatest swordsman ever lived didn't have a sword. <laughs> Your friend's dead. And Merentrance not. Was drawn to Dharma and a big fucking soul. <laughs> Life lesson number one, Arya. <laughs> he's kind of like a weird mentor in a way. <laughs> What's that? So he's kind of like a weird mentor in a mm. way. Please tell her. My mother misses her very much. Hot dang, Cersei. And she gets emotional. I get like weirdly emotional when she gets emotional. It's weird. Maybe because we never get to see it. Carried his messages and returned the replies. Mostly I poured wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I killed the man. That's right, you did. Saved him. Help me with these straps. <laughs> the <Is it> gorilla. <laughs> He's like, I can do that. Was he with the rest of the guys? Mm-hmm. He's with um John and all of them. And where I th are they? At? I think he might be scouting. Oh, you know he's gonna try to kill Bran. Well, yeah, he's looking. For, yeah, but I think well, I don't know if you know. Well, he doesn't know Bran's there though. He's try. He's scouting. Well, now he knows. But <laughs> I was saying, well, but he. I think he was scouting like the men also. You have to make it. We will. This. <laughs> this isn't the end. Say positive, exactly. You. Not yet. Well. You'll know. Oh god, they're gonna do it right for everybody. I'm not gonna watch that. They're doing something. Please stop! Stop! Hey! What are you doing here alone? No! I saw you die tonight. I saw your body burn. <laughs> I saw the snow fall and bury your bones. I'll take you to him. Hmm. <laughs> You're Brandon Stark. Mm. A little crippled lord. Oh. Nice. Ooh. 
I know. He did it. So close, but yet so far. Mm -hmm. If he sees you, he won't let you go north. He's my brother and wants to protect you. He'll take you back to Castle Black. You have to decide. Oh. Do you want to find the three eyed raven? <laughs> we need to free Summer. And we need to go. Mm, so close. I know. So close. Well, you guys see him at least. You'll never be free. You'll never know what that's like. Uh oh, which one's gonna be die? Mm. I have faith John's gonna live. Yeah. Yeah, this creep's gotta go down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a fire. He's gonna get pushed in it and burn. Oh, what George did say, he's no, no, gonna no, die. No, no, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Some old man teach you how to stand, how to pack. Oh. Fuck. You know what's wrong with honor? Oh. Oh. We gotta fight dirty. Oh. Oh, nice! <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> nice one! Oh, look at that! Oh, 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 oh! That is one oh. of the nastiest kills, oh. man. I know. See, John survived. There you go. Oh. Mark said there were eleven of them. Where's Rust? One got away, huh? Mm. Well, or so we think. Something's gonna get him. Mm. Yeah, there's things out in the woods. <laughs> yeah, like White Walkers. Mm -hmm. Oh. Or, you know. Or snow. Or ghosts. Or Which one was yeah. it? Ghosts. Ghosts. Oh. Yeah, because he was messing with ghosts the other episode. Oh, oh, nice! Ghost is like, I'm pissed. Come here. <laughs> ghost is like, hey! I've been locked up, but you know, that means you forgot about me. I missed you, boy. <laughs> He's like, well, good. Now you got blood all over your face. doing this long. Burn it to the ground. Hmm? And all the dead with it. Well, Jojen did see Carl burning. <laughs> His visions are very accurate. <laughs> Discussion time. Okay. Well, okay. Start of the episode. Talman became king. Yep. And actually, Cersei agreed. I was so shocked that she was okay with Marjorie. I know. But I guess she realized, though, that the... They need, well, she didn't know they need the money till later. Oh, yeah, it's a silent order. Yeah. yeah. I was, well, I think because, I don't know why, because she just figured Marjorie would be a good queen. I mean, because yeah. she said that he's going to need someone to teach him or help him or something. Mm hmm. But yeah, she didn't want it for Joffrey. Well, maybe she wanted anybody for Joffrey, because, well, because she said he shocked her. He did, that's true, she did. You know, so maybe she just didn't. You know. <laughs> yeah, but did you see the way she was still eyeing Marjorie? Like, I know. Like, I know, like I was saying, when Marjorie was saying, like, oh, I, I have, when Mr. She was like, I take you, still want to be queen. And Marjorie's like, oh, I haven't given any thought. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Mr. She's face was like, bitch, please. Like, <laughs> come on. I know, I should, come on. <laughs> it was so bad. I know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what she's thinking. I don't remember if she is. I don't. Oh, I know. But anyway, so yeah. Yeah, I know, they did kind of, because, you know, watching it, I'm like, Huh, I'm kind of surprised by that too. Yeah. So I don't, um. Yeah. Well, then, since Ron Cersei, she found out that they got so money that they're broke. Yeah. In debt. That's not But good. by marrying the Tyrell into the families, into the, you know. Well, maybe that's why. Well, no, yeah. But but she didn't know until yeah, after I the know, fact. You're right, you just said that. Yeah, she didn't know until after. Maybe she's just resigned to the fact that Marjorie's going to be part of it. She might as well. Yeah. 
except that. Also, yeah, and then she t spoke with Oberon. Mm. Um, and they had a really touching moment for Cersei. Yeah. She's talking about her daughter, Marcella. Because, you know, she's in Dorne. And, and Oberon's <sighs> like, you know, we don't hurt little girls in Dorne. And Cersei's like, they hurt little girls everywhere. Or something like that. Yeah. Which is quite sad and quite true. I know. Because little girls are probably the easiest, most vulnerable. Yeah. Easily, easiest to hurt. Yeah. I know, and like Cersei, when she was going kind of teary, I'd be like, I miss her so much. So I love seeing Cersei get emotional because she's such a... Humanizes like, her. Yeah, because well, she's so tough all the time. Yeah. That I kind of like seeing she's... I like seeing when she gets emotional. Like yeah. Okay, Doki. Um, and poor Sansa. Oh, my God. Yeah. Goes so, from one hell to another. Yeah, so so her aunt Lys is like... Which we knew she was crazy. I know. Lys was cool, a wackadoodle. Yeah, Lys is like, so, do, you know... Did you oh, let God. Peter do bad things to your body? And it sounds like, yeah, yeah, I'm a virgin. <laughs> like, like well, no. I'll be able to tell. Oh, my God. Yeah. It sounds like, I, yeah, not, oh, yeah. And like you're saying, it sounds like she had to put on her facade again and be like, oh, I'm just a stupid, stupid little girl. girl who yeah, learns. she's learning what she sucks that she has to do that. I feel bad for her that she has to do that. But she learned, like, you know what? I just got to play the Game of Thrones. Yeah, play the game. To get through life, which sucks. I feel bad for her that yeah. way. I know she has to act. Yeah, like she's an idiot, so people don't aren't threatened by her. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, so little finger married like even though he totally didn't want to. No. Yeah, so so she alluded to the fact that they did have sex when they were younger, because he always want. I'm sure wanted to have sex with cat. Cause right. Younger. But Lysa, I, I think, crushed on him when they were younger. Mm -hmm. So he probably thought, okay, let's... Because, yeah, I think he was the one that took her virginity. Mm. And then I think she ended up marrying John Aaron, who she revealed that she was the one who poisoned right. him. Right. the Lannisters. Right. So she was the one. And Littlefinger told her to do it. Of course. So Littlefinger. Oh, he's... Yeah, so the whole so the whole feud between the Starks and Lannisters in season one was because of Littlefinger. Because he told Lysa to write a letter to Katz and the Lannisters were the one to do it. Mm. Oh, so she wrote the letter that said the Lannisters did yeah, it? Yeah, that was back in the very first episode. She wrote mm. to Katz saying, I think the Lannisters poisoned John Aaron, my husband. Mm. And that's pretty much, because then that's, well, granted, pushing Bran out the window didn't help. But, you know, a lot of the feud between them really started because of that, I think. Um... So like I said, you need to push your bat out the window. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, because that ended up leading, um, what's her name, Cat, to taking Tyrion alive. And, yeah. And all that stuff. Yeah, but Little Littlefinger, the mastermind behind all this, he started... Plotting. He started plotting. Well, he's been oh, plotting. He's, been plotting. Plotting. he's the reason Joffrey's dead. He's the reason John Aaron's dead. He's the reason why... He, well, one of the reasons why the Starks and Lannisters were fighting so much. I mean... Which I guess led to the War of the Five Kings, because then Joffrey killed by head of Ned, and I mean, you know, Littlefinger's just like, hmm. Again, what, like he said, previous episode, a man with no motive is a, a one, yeah, a man no one, is Looks one of, no one expects. Right. I can't say it as eloquently as him, obviously. Um, but yeah, but so he's forced to mirror, well, of course. He obviously wants to mirror license just, I think, for, um, to be, um, in position of power. Right. Um. Yeah, and then their buddy night. <laughs> Poor sounds I had to listen to Lysa. Oh my god. Screaming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I could just imagine a little finger's face being like when she's not oh looking, god. rolling his eyes, being like this woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's probably like, okay, we're just going along until I can, you know, gain Get, more power. Well, until he probably knocks her off. Oh, is that what you think? Or something. Well, he's going to get rid of her. Why not? Mm. But then poor Sansa's supposed to marry her cousin, Robin. <laughs> oh, God. Well, because his name is Norman to marry cousins back then. I know. But, but it's Robin. That's the kicker. Not because he's her cousin, because it's Robin. Because <laughs> he's, he's like Robin. super immature. I don't know how old he's supposed to be, so he's still a little boy. But Yeah, because Sansa's only 14. So, like, he's supposed to be younger than her. Oh, gosh. It's like, has dude even hit puberty yet? <laughs> I don't know. Well, at least they didn't show him drinking from oh, Lysa's God. breath. <laughs> Thank uh, God for that. And then, um, so Danny, so she was giving mm. some bad news that young Kai, a lot of people re were re enslaved and asked her, or. Pretty much, all the people that she put into power to keep 
the past slaves who are now free, you know, who wanted to stay right. there, you know. Um, got overthrown. Got overthrown. So now she's like, crap. So, of course, Jorah's like, you know, you can just leave it all behind and go to Westeros. And she's like, nope. Nope. Yep. I got to do what a queen does, which is rule. <laughs> I'm going to stay here and fix this mess. Yep. Which is good of her. Yeah. You know, she's like, I don't want to be rash. So, yep. Because she can be hot-headed. So she's like, trying to be smart about this. Yep. Got to learn to be a better queen, which, you know, props to her. Yeah. Even though it's like you wanted to go over to Westeros, but, like, girl needs to learn to be a better queen. Yeah. Because, like, she was saying, like, who's going to follow me right. when I get there? It's like, okay, I have the Targaryen name, but, like, who's going to follow me if I don't know, like, what the heck I'm doing? Right, right. Um, and then we had, oh, God, the hand and Arya. That's mm. a good scene. Yeah. Those are so funny. I know. So she's listing her list, listing her list, checking the names off her list. <laughs> the hound. The hound. And then he looks at her like, what the heck? I know. I know. Their interactions are so funny. And then she was practicing the way Serial Oh, died. I know. The dancing. And then of course, prancing. the dan water dancing. And of course, water dancing. the way the hound's mocking Serial Right. Like, the greatest sword we ever lived didn't have a sword. <laughs> right. Um... And, but he did make a good point that the reason Mary Trant won was because he had armor in his sword. Or a big mm-hmm. effing sword, as he said, yeah. I think. Which is, you know, life lesson. Like I said, life lesson number one, Arya. Yeah. <laughs> um, the the hound's very blunt, but, you know. Yeah. Like, we've said this before. He just says kind of like life. You don't have to like it, but he just says the way how it is. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. What did we hit? We hit... Oh, yeah, Brienne and Pollen. They had a nice moment, cause well, first Brand's like, "Pa, just go." <laughs> yeah, right. You're free. I would leave you. And he's like, like, "I don't want to though." He's like, "I'm not going to." Right. And then he burns her up. <laughs> Aw, their dinner. What? And then he tells her about how he had to kill a king's guard to save Jamie's life. Because well, the funny thing is, it made me think of like Jamie and Brienne when he told her how he had to kill the king to save his dad. Because I know when Brand's like, blah, I look on Brand's face when Pa said I killed a king's guard. It's almost, it's kind of judgy, I think. But then he tells her, oh, the Why? King, yeah. Yeah, he's trying to kill Tyrion and he saved Tyrion's life. You know, I think it warmed her up to him. And and I think Brand's trying to realize, you know, after with Jamie, life isn't black or white. Yeah. So you, it's kind of gray. It doesn't right, quite make right. It. And she let him help her with his armor. Yeah. So that was cute. Um, Did it? Oh, no, we had the ending. Um, the whole, the whole brand jump. Oh, the yeah. Derp. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, br- okay. Yeah. Oh, so close. Yeah, so far. That was the same with Arya. She was so close to seeing her mom. And yeah. Her but at least John and Brand didn't die. They didn't die. Yeah, I know. Your theory about was how wrong. was going to Well, oh, John yeah. was going to show up and Brand was going <laughs> to be dead. dead. Well, it wouldn't have surprised me on this or show. Or John was going to die and uh, they were going to kill Brand. Oh, and then John got still back. Or ghost. Which one is it? Ghost. Goes. <laughs> John's last name is Snow. So, I know, but the, the but the dog is white though too. So well, he's white like a ghost. Okay. Ghost. Well, okay. Technically, the reason why he's called Ghost is because in the book he doesn't make any noise. He's silent. Mm. Whereas the rest of the direwolves make noise, like they howl and stuff. Ghosts uh, in the books they make noise, but in the show they're like, well, it's not gonna quite work, so it makes noise. But that's the reason why he's called Ghost. Oh, gotcha. Um, are you thinking summer? Is that what you thinking of the S? Because Brian's dire wolf is named Summer. Know. Maybe. Well, and the John Snow. I don't know. Yeah, it's Ghost. <laughs> yes, he got Ghost back. Um, but uh, yeah, Locke, he he found he was trying to fake Bran, but then Bran warged into Hodor. He yeah. He had Hodor kill. Oh, uh, poor Hodor. Hodor. I know he's looking at his hands like, what did I do? I know. Which, do you, okay? So do you? Okay, obviously in that scenario, Bran was like. We got to kill this dude. It's self-defense. Right. right. To gonna... save him and Hordor exactly. both. And his two friends. Exactly. Um, but do you agree with Bran warging into Hodor? Or, I mean, obviously in this scenario it was life or death, but just like in a, just a general sense, do you agree with him warging into Hodor or do you think you shouldn't do that? Well, hell, to save my life, I would yeah. do it. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, in this sense, obviously. Yeah. I guess it just depends on the situation. The it does. I don't think he just does it just no. lily willy nilly just to he do wouldn't. it. That would be weird. You know, he only You're does right. it for certain. You know, life or death. Yeah. Exactly. That's a good point. Yeah, because he wouldn't just be like, "Hey, Lord, I'm gonna walk into your mind." <laughs> he might do that with Summer, but that's different. Right. Summer's not human. No, that's and you know, 
and Summer's probably okay with it. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, that's a good point. Because, yeah, he's only, he only wants to know Hodor, like, when they well, were... the in, first time was just by accident. Well, the first time was by accident. Yeah, cause he didn't to, realize he yeah, could do he it. he was trying to get him to quiet, and then he, he accidentally right. did Right. I think this, was this the first time he actually worked in a Hodor on that, purpose? That they showed us, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm assuming that's... Yeah, second time, yeah. Yeah, so in this scenario, it makes sense because he was just trying to save their lives, yeah. Yeah. But then poor Hodor, I know, he, he was on scared that he killed someone. Yeah. Um, and then John, the way he killed Carl Tanner, <laughs> right oh, through the, nice. Right through the mouth. That Literally, nice. that's one of the most of my favorite memorable kills. I remember the first time I Reminds saw him, I was like, oh. It reminds me of um, the Terminator when the one guy, when he turns his hands to... Um, the second one? Yeah, and they like shoots people through the mouth and like pins them to the wall and stuff. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. Well, what's so gross about it isn't isn't they do that ink, the side shot where you just see John pulling it back out. <laughs> I know. It's nasty. Well, and I was gonna say really quick. One thing I thought was interesting because Carl Tanner was getting on John's case about like you know fighting with honor and then how oh, that's not gonna fly here because he spits in John's face right. and knocks it you know and, right. and plays dirty. So then John's like, well, shoot, okay, fine, I'm going to fight dirty. That's why, because when he stabbed him through the back of the head, that's pretty dirty. Right. You know, so I think John's like, well, we can't always fight fair if we want to. Right. If we want to survive. That's right. Um, yeah, which is something Ned probably yeah, put that, do. That's right, I so think I put that honor out that window. Yeah, I can't imagine Ned ever doing something quite like that. But, <laughs> no. Um, yeah. So I had that gray in there. Can't yeah. just be all black and white. And Jojen's vision came true. Yeah. Um, oh, but before he did, before that happened, he had that vision about how Bran needed to go to the, the big weirwood tree. Yeah. And Jojen's hand was on fire. Yeah. What'd you make of that? Uh. Oh, you know his weird divisions. <laughs> they're they're going they're going far north. Yeah. Oh, and then he I know Bran had to make the that was the sad part. Bran had to make the decision to, to right. not to see John. Yeah. That's what always makes him more sad because he could have he could have gone to John. Right. But then, like Jojo was saying, they take you back to Castle Black, and you want to get where you need to go. Yeah. It's like if you really want. What you need to do is bigger than you just reuni reuniting with John. Exactly, and Brand had to choose to leave his bro behind. Just sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because because Brand hasn't seen. That's the first time he's seen John since he fell off the tower. Because um, John left for the ball when Brand was unconscious. Yeah. It's the first time he would have seen him. So at least he got to see him. His brother is alive and well. <laughs> and Bran doesn't know that... Does Bran know that his mom and brother are dead? I can't remember. Because he knows his dad's dead, right? Yeah. Yeah, because that's what started the war. Dang so he knows yeah. his dad's dead, but I don't know if he knows his mom and... Oh, because he's been on this journey once. Yeah, I don't know if he knows they're dead. I don't know how he would know. Maybe Joe didn't would know because of the visions, maybe. But if he does, maybe he didn't tell him. That's a... I don't know. Just, I don't know what just made me think of it. Because I don't recall them revealing it to him or mm -hmm. him finding out. Shoot, does he not know? I... You guys answer... Write that down below. Does he know if, if Kat and Rob are dead here or not? I don't remember. Because, yeah, they never showed him being told that they were dead. I yeah. always just assumed he knew because maybe like Jojen had a vision or something. You know, or Bran, you know how he had visions of like Ned kind of dying? Mm. Maybe, maybe Bran had his own vision, they just never showed it. Mm, that could be. So cause I, I always assumed he just knew. Well, yeah, so answer, does he know here that they're dead or not? I don't know. Because where are they headed to again? Far north to a weird, weird wood tree. <laughs> so farther north than the wall? Yeah, because they're past the wall. They're at Craster's Keep. They're beyond the wall, remember? Oh, that's right. You know, because remember they went through the wall? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they're, they're, they're north of the wall. So, so they're, 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 they're traveling even farther north. Yeah. So while John's back at the wall, they're going to keep traveling farther north and north and north. Mm. Keep going north. Hmm. Where, who knows how far north everything is? Hmm. Because it's all far north. Yeah. Not so far it expands. Well, it expands. Where could be White Walkers live? Ooh, and other wildlings. <laughs> no, they're all going to the wall. Yeah, I was just going to say the wildlings, you know. They're, they're all going to the wall. Yeah, they're the all, ice yeah. Watch. Yeah. So probably the only thing they might run into would be the White Walkers. The White Walkers. Unless they have that fabulous obsidian black stone stuff to kill Dragon them. Dragonglass. Oh, Dragonglass. 
Sam. <laughs> kill all White Walkers. <laughs> no one believes it. Just claim to fame. Like, kill the White Walker. No of course, one no one's believed. I know. Poor Sam. <laughs> he, wasn't even in, he wasn't even in this episode, but poor Sam. I know. Oh, he's, he's back at the wall worrying about Gilly. <laughs> oh, God. I know. <laughs> Poor Sam. He's like, oh my god, kill me, kill me, kill me. He's such a cutie. I know. I love him. Oh. Bless his heart. Oh, bless his heart. Oh, bless his heart. <laughs> and we're not even from the south. I, we're not, I know, we're from the north. Literally, where we have dire hounds. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that was it for the episode. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it definitely got action packed near the end. It was kind of slow going, I think, up until, like, boom, at the end of the whole fight scene. Yeah, yeah. Um, Lots of stuff. Okay. No Tyrion. He wasn't in this episode. No. Um, all right. He's just showing on in jail. So. Okay. Well, if you guys in the episode, like usual, rolling three actions, all the good stuff, Patreon, link to, description box, comment section, I can't think. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all the good stuff. Okay. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. So goodbye, everybody. Good night.